You're watching 41 Action News. The pandemic's impact on small businesses in our community has been devastating. Some have used PPP loans to help pay employees. Others have just shut down for good. Yeah, we've heard way too many stories of that. But in this Rebound KC report, Nick Starling shares how some local black-owned businesses might have felt the brunt of this pandemic even more and how some are hoping that changes are coming soon. So this is our merchandise. Lanisha Frazier helped create Bliss Books and Wine a couple years ago. I was just like, where can I go that I can finish this book and have a glass of wine? But the pandemic put a cork in her plans. And we were just kind of like, what do we do now? How do we stay relevant? They adjusted switching to Zoom get-togethers while discussing books they've read while drinking wine. However, being a first-time small business owner presents several challenges. It's very intimidating to walk into a bank and say, hey, can you support me, back me? My business is great. And they're going to be like, ah. Is it? So <laughs> it's intimidating to be a black female, you know, wanting support and loans and, and backing like that. So to address some of the issues when it comes to black owned small businesses here in Kansas City, some community leaders held a meeting inside the Bruce R. Watkins Center to talk solutions. Unfortunately, we're at the back of the line, whether there's a pandemic or not, just to be honest. African Americans are not as likely to get approved for a typical bank loan as our counterparts. Kira Sheree helps minority owned businesses succeed and points out there are inequalities when it comes to the pandemic's impact on accessing things like PPP loans. I would love for us to be able to level the playing field when it comes to things like access to capital. Councilwoman Rainer Park Shaw says she started a small business tour to help highlight the black owned businesses in the city. We are actually uh, doing one on one interviews and displaying information about those businesses to try to help uh, people understand and, and for one be able to support their local businesses but understand that where they shop truly does matter. Reporting in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.